Thank you for tuning in to the Forefront Radio. I'm your host, Afio Levi Israel. Now, if you're interested in helping us promote our brand, please feel free to donate to our cash app. Our cash app is uh, dollar sign Afiel Levi. That's A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I. And that'll go directly to the Forefront Radio so we can produce more incredible shows for you to listen to. Now, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download this free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Thank you. Feeling. 
we on a mission See the great army, the kingdom's the vision Brothers and sisters, let's go This what we've been waiting for Drop everything and let's go Boom, boom, great big valley your bone Don't you know you are like gold? This ain't the land of our rest, don't you wanna go home? Sing a new song, from slave ships to spaceships From building nations to our own Look, I'm grown, put that child just where it belongs Let's stay with the children at home Real men take kingdoms and thrones Big couple women and stones, family gold Ball reggae, let's get it on The kingdom's within you, we got it all to build our own Or make them build it on for us T.I.P. family hustle, we all should be on Go. We are the children Yeah, we are the children Look at our condition Them cussing revealing Straight out the wilderness Moses was with us We should have listened, we should have listened We are the children Yeah, we are the children Look at our condition Them cussing revealing Straight out the wilderness Moses was with us We should have listened, we should have listened Deep as sleep, our people slumber Prophets bring the thunder, won't skip a beat Like a drummer, wish a demon would They keep the lumber The number 144, getting busy Israel got the antidote Make a sinner dizzy with the scripts they quote Pass the silly, he telling jokes Get up off the rope, start fighting back Boots on the ground, and shot rack In the city of town, teaching Christ is black They losing sleep, insomniac Wake up, alarm went off Prophets of God, opposite of soft All these haters sit around and scoff Work of the Lord, never be put on pause Be down for the cause if you wanna go home Put down your sins, tell them leave you alone Tie your loose ends and you can see the throne Then you reap, seize you sown And we own, we on the rise My brothers, God's in disguise My sisters, daughters and kings We taking over, they know what it mean It's time for the rise It's time for the rise, if you don't believe me just open your eyes Gathering up all the flocks, see growing That water's flowing Part of the drip, it's part of the blessing I'm good, no stressing. God got me, I'm riding forever. Forever and ever. You yeah. know the plan, got to endure. Boots on the ground, that gospel on tour. Kicking it raw, I know it get hard. They hate when you write, I'm still in the light. Shout out the leadership, doing it right. All of my haters, I tell them good night. I type up a post, I hold up the post. I'm down with the work, we doing the most. I'm seeing the pain, I'm plotting the glory. Pray I do it right so Christ come back for me. And my bros, hope they coming on with it. All of the saints, you know we got to get it. Growing strong. As the clock ticking close See the truth on approach Been too long, we been down at the bottom Every hood done turned into Gotham Ain't no Batman, but bet they be robbing and killing And stealing and getting lit So we out in the ghettos and towns and cities To wake up the remnant This the life of an Israelite Keep the laws and the faith of Christ You can live or die twice Repent and die, better get your life it's time for the rise if you don't believe me, just open your eyes Gathering up all the flocks, see growing That water's flowing, part of the drip It's part of the blessing I'm good, no stressing God got me, I'm riding forever Forever and ever, yeah Yeah Judah.
the Uh-huh Targets, lamentations, we were in the vein for a nation that got problems to solve them, absolve them. Washington guy, we on the rise, they in decline, on the recycle. They got the nerve to swear on the Bible? Right. Never trust, never trust, never trust. Just, just a system that will always be broken. Cause they hate, cause they hate, cause they hate us. Yeah, they hate, cause they hate, cause they hate us. Listening to the Forefront Radio, where we discuss history, the Bible, the history of the Israelites, science, and other matters. 
Bring it out. The history of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as it relates to the Bible. Who were you prior to slavery? Who were you prior to colonization? These answers and more can be seen and heard as you listen to The Forefront Radio. Emergency alert. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Blacks and Latinos colonized and enslaved, scattered throughout the earth, are indeed the 12 tribes of the nation, according to the Holy Bible. The United States of America is Babylon the Great, only has a very limited time of existence. And Black Lives Matter has nothing to do with black people. It's a branch of the LGBT community and they're about to introduce NAMBA, the North American Man Boy Love Association. All donations to that organization help fund the Democratic National Committee. The media is controlled by the Central Intelligence Agency and the Council of Foreign Relations. Control is exactly what people think, and this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. They have manipulated the theme that the police should be funded and disbanded for the purpose of chaos to bring in the National Guard. COVID-19 was created and manipulated in the United States and sent to Wuhan, China. It was manipulated by splicing animal DNA with human fetal tissue, according to Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. Christ is our king, the black Messiah, and he will soon come and return, bringing the powers of heaven and destroy Babylon's space force, according to the back of chapter 3, and verse 14. These are the last days, brothers and sisters. We must prepare ourselves for deliverance by keeping the commandments and gather ourselves together as the Israelites. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 4. Shalom. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Captain Severus. In today's news, here we go. We have four arrested after black man's body found burning in a ditch in Iowa. Mm. Four arrested after black man's body found in what? In a ditch in Iowa. Scroll down. CNN authorities have arrested three men and one woman in connection with the death of a black man whose burning body was found in a ditch in rural Iowa. So here we go again, y'all. Here we go again. The curses are hitting us again. Over and over, you'll see it happening. I'm glad that, that they posted a white man, right, and uh, black bodies burning, right? Go ahead. Read on. One of men arrested, 31-year-old Stephen Vogel, mm -hmm. who is white was already in jail on unrelated charges. Already in jail. Go ahead. On unrelated charges and is now facing charges of first-degree murder and abuse of a corpse, Three. according to the Iowa Department of Public Safety. The investigation has revealed no evidence to show that acts against Michael Williams were motivated by his race, nor that his death was the result of a hate crime. Now, you got to be mindful when they say that it was not motivated because we know the judgment for a hate crime is what? It's, it's pe the penalties of death, right? You, you uh, face uh, the death penalty. Go ahead. According to a statement from the Department of Public Safety, mm -hmm. just after 5.30 p.m. last Wednesday, authorities received a report of a fire in the roadside ditch near the small city of Kellogg in central Iowa. Responding personnel found a body on fire and go ahead, put up. out the flames. The dead man was identified as 44-year-old Michael Williams of Grinnell, authorities said. That's the black man. Go ahead. A police investigation found that Williams was killed on or about September 12th in Grinnell, and his body was then wrapped in cloth and plastic, secured with rope and tape, and taken to Kellogg on September 16th. So the body was held, prepped up so it could be uh, transported to 
Kellogg, right? And then dumped and set on fire. Go ahead. Where it was set ablaze, according to the statement. In an evident, in an affidavit uh, supporting a criminal complaint against Vogel, a Grinnell police officer writes that a witness alleged that Vogel told him he had strangled Williams and showed him the body. So he strangled him. Now, it didn't say with what now. I'm surprised they didn't put that. So he was he was strangled. Go ahead. Which was in the basement of Vogel's house in Grinnell. Mm -hmm. Williams and Vogel knew each other for several years, the court documents say. Vogel's mother, Julia Cox, 55, and Roy Lee Garner, 57, who share the home with Vogel, will face charges of abuse of a corpse, obstructing persecution, destruction of evidence, and accessory after the fact, according to court documents. Mm -hmm. Cox told investigators she helped Vogel take an object wrapped in a brown blanket. You hear that? Helped. So they all assisted with the murder and afterwards disposing of the body. They all did that. Go ahead. Out of a back of a pickup last Wednesday before Vogel put it in a ditch, the Aftavit says. Garner said he drove the truck and dropped Vogel off in another town. Mm -hmm. Then he and Cox drove to a rural area where they dumped items from the back of the truck into a ditch. Try to get rid of the evidence. According to the Aftavit, police located the dump site and found plywood, carpet, bleach bottles. There you go. Rubber, bleach bottles. Why? To get rid of the evidence. Go ahead. Rubber gloves. Plastic. Socks and a receipt with Vogel's name. All right. So that's all I want. So now again, we're hearing uh, uh, another incident, another black body, another black life gone, erased off the planet. Right. Who done it? All oppressors, the so-called white man. This is America. So now let's go into the scriptures to find out where does this stem from? Again, I pray that you brothers and sisters are taking heed to the warning because it's, it's going to increase. This is not going to stop. There's no marching, uh, changing laws. This, this, this nation that we're under in, in, this, in our captivity, they constantly are wearing their face. That, that face is hate. And we're going to read it out of the Bible where it comes from. The Lord constantly reminds us this is a nation that hates us. Go ahead. Give me Leviticus chapter 26, and you're going to start at 13. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 13. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, Read. that ye should not be their bondmen. Be their what? Be their bondmen. Be their slaves. Read. And I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. Go uprightly. Read. But if you will not hearken unto me. Pay attention now. If we will not hearken unto the Lord. Read. And will not do all these commandments. Come on. And if you despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that you will do all my command will not do all my commandments. Come on. But that ye break my covenant. What would happen? I also will do this unto you. Mm -hmm. I will even appoint you over you terror. Terrors, terrorists. Read. Consumption and the burning ag that shall consume your eyes and cause sorrow of heart. Mm -hmm. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. Your enemies. Watch. Read on. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. Before your enemies. Slain. Put to death before your enemies. Read. They that hate you shall reign read, over you. Read that again. They that hate you shall reign over you. Now, this is a thinking moment for you, family. They that hate you. They that hate you shall what? Shall reign over you. Meaning they shall have dominion over you. They will oppress you, right? To the point where they can't even stand your guts, right? To the point where they have to uh, uh, come together together to burn your body, strangle you. Read. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Right. So exactly what you see in here is Bible prophecy and it's coming to, to life. You read it in the news constantly over and over. Those that hate us are ruling over us and they are causing terrors. Um, let's go to see how God feels about them. Go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 35 verse 1. We're going to start at verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is the so-called white man. We're going to get that. Go to um, Genesis, Genesis 36, to see who is Mount Seir. Because remember, in the mouth of the prophets, it was always parables coming out. But we're going to get you precept on precept, how the Lord commands us to navigate through the Bible. You're going to go to uh, Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. Who is Mount Seir? Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Thus dwelt Esau 
in Mount Seir. Esau is the so-called white man. Esau, that red nation, another word for Esau, Edom or Rome. Go ahead. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. Now go back. Go back to verse 2 now. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 2 mm -hmm. son of man set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it come on and say unto it thus saith the Lord God behold O Mount Seir I am against thee God the God that same God that delivered delivered us out of captivity and put us back into captivity he said listen those same nations that hate you I am against them read and I will stretch out mine hand against thee. Read. And I will make thee most desolate. Most desolate. Read. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Read on. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Oh, what? A perpetual hatred. You see that? A perpetual hatred. Perpetual means ongoing, never ending. From Even from the beginning of Genesis to now, 2020, we're still reading of that hatred. Now go to uh, Leviticus, I mean Genesis twenty-seven forty-one. Let's see where that the origin of this hatred. The Bible is a true book. Let's read about the origin of this hatred. Genesis chapter twenty-seven verse forty-one. Come on. And Esau hated Jacob. He what? Esau hated Jacob. Read. Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Mm -hmm. And Esau said in his heart. The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Mm -hmm. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Is that not wicked for you? That's called what? Premeditated murder. He's pre that's premeditated murder. They strangled the man and they held the body. And then later on, they delivered it to a dumpster and burned the body. That's premeditated. First degree murder. That's off top hatred. You, des you deserve death, right? Now go back. That's the origin of the hatred, right? Remember, Esau, Edom, later on became the nation Edom, right? Later on became Rome, and uh, America is an extension of Rome, all right? So that bloodline stems all the way back to the beginning, or what we read it in, in, in Genesis. Remember, the, book, the word Genesis is, is talking about genes, the beginning, right? Go back now, Ezekiel, you fit, read verse 5 one more time. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Come on. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual hatred, ongoing uh, hatred. And I know a lot of our people wonder, why do they hate us so much? Why? Why do they hate us? Well, the Bible said, the Lord said, listen, you refuse to hear my commandments, take heed of my statutes, I will appoint terrors over you. And this is what we're doing now. The prophet of the Lord are standing firm and revealing that man of sin, that nation that hates us. Read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Have shed the blood. They do it without question. They won't, they'll go, after kill, killing one of us, they'll go back home and have a perfectly well-ordered dinner. They'll throw a dinner party in honor of our murder. Because as you see, go back to the article. Go back to the article. Who was involved? Go back to who all, all was involved. Go back, scroll down, scroll down. Who was all involved in the murder? That's how you know. They all had the same mindset. Boom. For so, arrested mm -hmm. after black man's body found burning in a ditch in Iowa. Go ahead. Steve... Con charged in connection with killing of Michael Williams. Read. Steven Vogel. Steven Vogel. That's the prime murderer. Read. Julia Cox. That's the mother. Read. Roy Garner. Come on. Cody Johnson. You see that? That was a whole family involved in a, the, the, the sh bloodshed of a black man. Okay, go back now to the scriptures. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Ongoing hatred. It has shed the blood of the children of Israel. It shed the blood of who? Of the children of Israel. Mr. Williams was a descendant of the Israelites who was under the curses. That's what you're seeing happen over and over again. It's time for us to wake up. All right, now go give me John chapter uh, 4, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Because this is America, right? This is supposed to be a God-fearing country. But for some reason, they keep neglecting this because they had access to our book for ages and centuries Please explain this to me. Go ahead, read that. If a man say, I love God. Don't America say they love God? They even have these institutes where they, they push that, right? Love God, right? God is love. Read. And hated his brother. Uh huh. He is a liar. He's a what? He is a liar. He's a what? He is a liar. Read. 
For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? What was going on? Where is the love of God in, 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 in um, um, the, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom? Where is it? Where was the love then? I, and I bet there was some Christian folks, right? What happened to the love? Read. How can he love God whom he hath not seen? Okay, now jump up to uh, uh, 1 John 3 and 15. 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Whosoever hateth his brother Come on. is a murderer. It's a what? Is a murderer. So by default, why, where are the laws in place to protect us? Where are those laws? Why is it a, a perpetual hated, hatred if they weren't the, the children of Esau? Where, why is that hatred still among them, amongst them? What's going on? Why is that hatred still in America? Because this is not the first case and it won't be the last case. It's an ongoing thing. It's a perpetual thing. <laughs> right? All right. Read on. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Right. Now go up to verse 10 now. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. In this the children of God are manifest. Children of God are manifest because we clearly read where if we did not keep commandments, we would be put to death in, uh, by our enemies, those who hate us. Right? Read. And the children of the devil, mm. whosoever doeth not righteousness, doeth not have, do not commit the commandments of God, is not of God. But of who? They are Satan. Read. Neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye have heard from the beginning, mm -hmm. that we should love one another. You telling me they didn't read this? What happened? Did not, they didn't read this when they put us in slavery? They didn't do this when they uh, wiped out the Native Americans and gave them uh, smallpox. What happened? They didn't have access to this? But they called themselves Christians, follower of Christ. You tell me they didn't read this verse? What's going on? Read. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, mm -hmm. and slew his brother. And that's, that's, there you go. It stems all the way from there. Read. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil mm -hmm. and his brother's righteous. Watch, read on. Marvel not, my brother. Don't be shocked, Israel. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised at this hatred. Because I know a lot of people that see these um, th this news and they'll read about it. They'll, they're in awe. Oh, why? What's going on? But the God, but God of Israel has warned you over and over again. It's up to us to take heed and apply the scriptures. There's laws in place. Because when you go in death uh, with Mr. Williams... Later on, if you go on and uh, do the background, I did my research on him. He was married uh, to an Edomite, a so-called white woman. All right, had two children, I think three. He had three, three children with him. All right, but we have laws in place to avoid things like this. Now, if we, if, if we were to take hold of God's commandments, we're going to read it. Uh, we would avoid punishment like this. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 1. Let's read about the laws that's in place for us to avoid punishment that's given by God. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 1. Mm -hmm. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, mm -hmm. and hath cast out many nations cast before out many nations, read, before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, mm -hmm. and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Come on. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Read. Thou shalt make no covenant no with them. No covenant, no agreement, no treaties. Read. Nor show mercy unto them. Read. Verse 3 now. Neither shalt thou make marriages Here with them. Go. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Read. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Come on. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. And that's what happens. Every time we join ourselves to the other nations, they take us far and far away from our God, right? Leading us into idolatry. Now you're, you're worshiping Christmas. Now you're worshiping uh, 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 Buddha. You're a Buddhist now. You're a Muslim now. God put these uh, laws in place so we can avoid them keep get, getting us away from, uh, from our God. Uh, jump down to verse 6 to explain why. Verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people. You hear that? Out of all the nations put on the planet, God said Israel is a holy people, a separate, a set-apart people. Read. 
unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people Come on. unto himself. Read. Above all people mm -hmm. that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. Now give me Tobit 4 and 12. Tobit 4 and 12. So you have to pay attention. These laws are set in place to not to, not to destroy you, but to protect you. Because he already told you, because of our sinning, our disobedience, he will put in place a nation that hate us. And over and over, this nation has revealed themselves, all right? Not, not, not just one incident, not, uh, slavery, but over and over, the Lord, Lord is constantly reminding us, right, that this nation hates you. Stop joining yourself with them, all right? Give me a Tobit 4 and 12. Read when you got it. Tobit chapter 4 verse 12. Come on. Beware of all whoredom, my son. Now we're reading where God calls it whoredom. Read. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. The seed of thy fathers. Read. And take not a strange woman to wife. Uh huh. Which is not of thy father's tribe. Which is not from the 12 tribes of Israel. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.